Hello, I'm Peter Freeth and I've been studying, learning, developing, teaching NLP for about the last 20 years. And over the course of these next few videos, I'm going to be sharing with you why everything you know about NLP is wrong. Now, I realise that is a contentious statement, with good reason. You see, over the last 30 or 40 years, since NLP was first developed by Bandler and Grinder, We've developed tools, we've developed research, we've developed research in areas like psychology and neuroscience that have really opened up a whole new world of, of knowledge and experimentation and research. You see, there are things that we can discover today, things that we know today, that we just couldn't have known 30 or 40 years ago. We've, uh, we've developed the ability to look inside a human mind while it's working. Um, we've developed the ability to move memories from one brain to another. We just couldn't do that. We just had no way of imagining what was possible 30 or 40 years ago. Some of the tools and some of the research that's been done in that time support much of what we've learned in NLP. It uh, gives us new perspectives and new ways of understanding what works and, more importantly, why it works. But some of that research contradicts what we've been told by NLP trainers in the past. For example, the idea that there are five senses. It's still appearing in books today that have been written uh, recently. It's still being taught by NLP trainers today. That there are five senses. It just isn't true. We've known it wasn't true more than 30 years ago. And a lot of the research around this area uh, tells us that actually what we've been told by NLP trainers in the past, some of the very foundations of NLP, are maybe not as solid as we thought they were. And we've got to challenge that. We've got to challenge that body of knowledge. We've got to keep it up to date. That's our responsibility, is to keep the body of knowledge up to date, to look for evidence, to look for why are things working, why do things happen that we, uh, that we know intuitively work. Well, why does it work? If we understand why something works, then we can adapt it, we can uh, implement it more consistently. And that's good for us. It's good for our clients, it's good for our colleagues, it's good for everyone. And it's right, isn't it? We, we have that responsibility. So that's certainly what's important to me, and I hope it's what's important to you too. And therefore I welcome you to this series of videos. I look forward to working with you, and I encourage you to challenge as well, and to look for evidence, and to test, and to make your own mind up. Don't listen to what other people say just because they've said it. Test it for yourself, and make sure that what I'm going to be showing you over these next few videos really is valuable. Thank you.